Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video on my channel here. Now in today's video, guys, I'm going to be bringing you part one of my gun tight offset tight end scheme. I actually just used this offense in a mutt draft run with the Green Bay Packers playbook. And I have to say, this was a really good offense. I was clicking on all cylinders in terms of passing. I was having quick, easy drives, scoring touchdowns. And basically, guys, today we're going to be going over the plays, halfback slip screen, as well as PA shots. So I'll be going over first the play play adjustments and then I will be touching up on the slip screen that we're going to move into the PA shot scenes. Now, before we get in the video, guys, if you want to follow me on Twitter, my link is down below. Also, if you guys want to check out my two most recent videos, they're going to be in the top right of the screen right now. Guys, let's go ahead. Let's get into it. Okay, guys, so here we go. This could be gun tight offset tight end. Now, what we're going to do here for the personnel subs is we are going to be subbing in basically just our fastest or best running back right in this position. So we have Ronald Jones here. And then also we're going to sub in our two best receivers in this, these two spots. So I have Evans and Godwin. And then, you know, a third receiver right here is good. And then your best tight end. So honestly, guys, very easy adjustments here. Now your audibles you're going to set are going to be inside zone as your square. PA shot seams as your triangle. Saints drive out as your L1 and then Y out halfback swing as your R1. And you're always going to come out in this halfback slip screen play. Now, guys, let's go ahead. Let's move into slip screen. All right, guys, so here we go. This is going to be the screen play. Pretty much here, you can't really make any adjustments. It's just kind of what it is. So what I do recommend, though, on this play is that you don't hold the sprint button, which is right tr trigger. You don't hold that down until it, the blocks hold up and the blocks develop. Once you do that, then you're going to go and you're going to hold down the right trigger button. That's going to allow for a big boost of speed, which is going to really help in terms of go going through holes and avoiding tackles. So I'll just show you an example of it. You're going to see here that Ronald Jones I'm currently not holding my sprint button but now I hold my sprint button we're able to turn up field and we almost evade a, D, a, a linebacker right here now we're also just going to show one more time here just for the hell of it you're going to see that I'm just going to wait here blocks hold up and then I just get this big boost of speed and I get about 15 yards because of it so that's why it's just so big here to really just conserve your sprint because if you do that you're going to be in a very good spot you see right here just going to conserve the sprint and now unfortunately I wasn't really able to evade the linebacker but in most times you will be able to do that and you saw I was able to get 15 yards because I saved my sprint but now guys we're going to move into the real plays the first one being PA shot seams all right, guys, so basically here's PA shot scenes here. Here is going to be the setup. This is just the stock play right now. What we're going to do is the first adjustment we're going to make is we're going to put the running back R1 in an option route, which is triangle R1 and L2. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to be putting O on a curl, which is triangle O and down the left stick. Then the last thing we're going to do is we're going to take this O route here, the curl. We're going to motion him out to the right. Now, basically your reads on this play, you're going to have a lot of reads right here. I would honestly first look to this curl route right here because if he gets a you know good animation, like basically if Stefan Gilmore does not press him right off the bat then you should get a pretty good animation with him causing you to low ball that curl route and get a very easy 10 to 15 yards that how you low ball as you hold L2 as you press the receiver icon but if that curl does get a bad animation you can also look to this out route as well as the option route and then finally you do have the corner route as well as this X route right here so I'm just going to run it right here. I'm just going to watch. You're going to see that he gets, you know, not a great animation. But luckily, that out route does have pretty good leverage right there with Chris Godwin. So as a result of that, I'm able to get a very easy five to six yards. So once again here, we're just going to option the running back. We're going to curl O. Then we're going to motion him out to the right. We're just going to see. And as you can see, he doesn't get a great animation. So what we're going to do, we're actually going to look to the corner route because I did see him out of the corner of my eye get open. So I'm just going to throw that. And you see that we're able to get a really easy completion. I'll just run this one more time against cover two. Then we're going to move into against cover three. So here we go. Motion him out to the right here, right to the numbers. And you see that he gets a, you know, not a great animation, but we're still able to go and throw that rack catch corner route right there to Mike Evans. And he's actually able to score on that play. That's going to really work against cover two. Also against man coverage, it works pretty well. But now, guys, let's go ahead. Let's move into this play against cover three. All right, guys. So here we go. This is going to be the play against cover three. We're just going to, let me, is this against cover three? Yeah, it's okay. I just want to make sure real quick. So let me just go. Let me just move Antonio Brown over. You're going to see right here that he actually gets pretty good animation. And we're able to low ball it here for a very easy game. Once again, low balling is going to be holding the left trigger as you throw the ball to your receiver, whatever icon you have. Like if I want to low ball to O, I'll just hold L2 as I press O. And then that'll be a low ball. And then you're going to possession catch it, which could be holding the X button. So once again, right here, 
We're just gonna run this ball. We're just or we're gonna run this play. We're just gonna make sure he does get a pretty good animation. He gets cover three. It works pretty well. Now you saw that that safety actually bit right there. You gotta want to watch that. That's gonna be very important here. If he does bite, it might be an interception. So that's why it's really important to get that ball off quick if you're gonna be throwing to the curl routes. So once again, just gonna show it to you against cover three right here with Antonio Brown. Just gonna throw this ball. You're gonna see that he gets some pretty good leverage. I think I threw that actually a bit late right there. So definitely just gonna want to watch that here against cover three and that's basically it let me just run this one more time just for jokes also show you guys the out route right there on the left side so we're just gonna run this ball you're gonna see right here that he gets a good animation we're able to low ball it and because he has the inside leverage he's able to make the catch i would be very wary of throwing this but now what we're gonna do is well, i'm actually just going to show as well real quick here the out route as well how open it gets against cover three so I'm just going to motion Antonio Brown out. Let's just say he's not open. You can see that the out route right there, we're able to go and get that for a very easy completion right there. Now, it was, you know, was kind of difficult, but, you know, we're able to go and get the completion. Once again, here at a cover three sky, I'm actually in the running back screen. That's why I wasn't able to make any hot routes. But you see right here, we're just going to motion Antonio Brown out. We're going to run this right here. You're going to see that we get the leverage and we're able to go and get a very easy gain on that. So guys, that's going to do it against cover three. Now I'm going to show you the play against cover four palm. All right, guys, so here's the play against cover four palms. Once again, you're just going to be looking at that curl route. Just see if he gets a good animation. As you can see, he did. And we're going to be able to go and get an easy completion. Now, unfortunately, I don't know why that happens. Stephon Gilmore, like, that's a really weird animation. He really should have caught that ball. I don't know why that did that with Stephon Gilmore kind of, like, hitting him low and causing him to drop it. Once again, here, we're just going to run this play. You can see Gilmore plays really back in this play. So we're just going to make the catch right there. And we're able to get a very easy 10, 9 to 10 yards. You know, curl routes are really good against, like, cover four palms and whatnot. Now, I'm also going to show off the corner route as well because I believe this is also really good against cover four palms. So, I'm just going to motion out Antonio Brown. You're going to see that basically the matching coverage does not hold up against the against the corner route. You're going to see that he gets wide open. I'll just show it to you guys one more time here so that you guys can see it in real time. Actually, Audible's the wrong play. We're going to be going over that play soon. Don't worry, guys. We're going over the P the next play, which is Saints Drive Out. We're going to be going over that in part two. It's actually one of my favorite plays right, here, right there. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to go into the cover four palms, and then I'll show you the against man coverage, and that'll be end, at the end of the video. So basically, we're just going to run against cover four palms. You're going to see that as we motion Antonio Brown out. You're going to see that out of this right here. Now, unfortunately, I did swerve a bit too much trying to get a better animation, so I'll just run this one more time for you guys. Really quick, we'll go out of cover four palms, and then we're going to motion Antonio Brown out right here, and then we're going to see that we're just going to be able to throw this ball right over the top here for the easy... Yeah, and the easy rack catch. Now, I don't know why Mike Evans, like, he didn't get a good animation there, but it really doesn't matter as long as he catches it. That's the most important thing. Now, guys, though, we're going to move on to the play against man coverage. All right, guys, so I've just set up the play against man coverage right here. We're just going to look at Antonio Brown once again, motioning him out. You're going to see that against man. Okay, I don't know what happened there. For some reason, Antonio Brown just got absolutely decked, and for some reason, he was not able to complete that pass. Let me just do this one more time here, and I'm actually going out of the halfback slip screens so that's odd so let me just quickly just look at this curl route you're gonna see that right here just gonna throw this ball as you can see against man it's very good as well because the corner kind of drops back deep and he doesn't have enough time to recognize that the curl route was there so definitely it's kind of like a hitter it's eh, not really hit or miss play you just got to really practice on getting the timing down on when to actually throw this ball you know to get the reaction down so we're just gonna see once again just gonna throw this you're gonna see we low ball it right there right when he gets past that 40 yard line you're gonna want to throw it and you know you see we're able to get a completion now i'm also going to show you this um corner route against man coverage because it actually gets really open as well the same thing as cover four palms it's really really good this corner route is a seriously good corner route that you can definitely use you're gonna see that i mean it gets amazing separation now i did bullet past that probably not going to want to do that because most likely the corner is going to catch up and then your opponent will get a click on interception so i recommend that if you're running this against man coverage that um corner route unless you have like tyreek hill on there against a somewhat slow corner what, what i would recommend doing is just kind of lobbing it up there now for some reason he got a really weird animation don't know why he did that it was not like a clean cut usually though most of the time you will get a clean cut animation from that in the times that i've labbed I've seen that you can get a pretty good animation from that. So, just going to motion out right here. 
we're gonna see yep there we go so that's gonna be what it is and basically what i did was i lobbed it up there which is gonna be just singly single tapping the triangle button and then i also pass let it up not near the sideline now how you're gonna do that you're just gonna flick the left stick up when you throw it you're just gonna hold it up towards the end zone rather than to the sideline and basically that's just going to pass lead it that's going to be what it is so i'm just going to run it one more time against man coverage and then that will conclude the video so as you can see right here just going to run this here we're going to be looking for the corner route you're going to see once again got some really great separation we're just going to allow it up here and we're able to get a completion so guys hope you enjoyed this video if you did smash a like go stretch my five likes let me know in the comments if you guys have any questions or feedback take care most importantly stay classy Thank you.